Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Saints of the Summer. Today is July 23rd. Well, today's saint takes us back to Sweden, St. Bridget of Sweden. This is a woman, as the Beach Boys would say, got around. But boy, did she travel, she got around. She was a very busy, busy woman. She lived between 1303 and 1373. Her parents were nobility, which made her nobility. And at the age of 14, she was married to Olof Gudmarsson. Her and Olof had eight children together. <laughs> now, Bridget, being a very devout Catholic, raised her eight children in the faith. One of them, Catherine, is going to become a saint herself. But Bridget wasn't just someone who um, practiced the faith at home. Uh, as her children grew up, she went on the road to express her faith. She did the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. And she also took a pilgrimage to the Holy Land <laughs> to visit, you know, the, the, the tomb of Jesus in Jerusalem. This woman got around. And when her husband died um, and she inherited all the money, she decided to build a convent. So she went back to Sweden and built this convent, invited some people to join her, including some of her daughters and the future St. Catherine, where she had visions. She'd have visions of the Lord, and she'd write these visions down. And people would travel from all over to, to talk to her about these visions and what God was trying to tell her. And in one of these visions, she was told that the king of Sweden's plan to invade Estonia, which at that time was still pagan, was not going to be blessed, and the king shouldn't do it because the king's motivation wasn't primarily to convert these people to the faith, but was primarily just to conquer more land and get more wealth. Well, this got the king very upset at Bridget, and so Bridget, you know, got the hint from on high that it was best for her to leave, so she left, and she went to see the pope. Well, the pope at that time was, was not living in Rome, but was living in France in exile, and so she got involved in papal politics and told Pope Urban that he's got to leave Avignon in France and go back to Rome. This woman was very active in her faith, not just personally, but in the lives of various kings and popes. Also at the Council of Trent, her visions were determined as valid.